Germany provides humanitarian aid to Palestine refugees across the Middle East. The Government of Germany, a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion and a Shining World Caring Leadership Award laureate, has contributed 53 million euros to the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, or UNRWA. Of the total amount, 10 million euros will be used for creating jobs for Palestine refugees in Lebanon, while 28 million euros will support education and basic health services for the Palestinian refugees in Lebanon, Jordan, and the Palestinian territories. The remaining 15 million euros will be used for camp improvement initiatives in Jordan and Gaza, as well as the construction of a new health center and a social services building in Gaza to benefit almost 250,000 individuals. Furthermore, a solar station will be built in Jordan's capital city, Amman, and is expected to provide renewable energy for 65% of all UNRWA installations in the country. Our sincere appreciation, Germany and UNRWA, in the immeasurable love of heaven, may Palestine refugees soon greet bright tomorrows in a benevolent world. United States County Finds benefits of providing hotel rooms for people experiencing homelessness. A study conducted by King County Department of Community and Human Services and the University of Washington, both in Seattle, USA, has found that a county initiative that moved people in homeless shelters to private hotel rooms helped limit the spread of COVID-19. The research also revealed several other benefits, including increased feelings of stability, better sleep and hygiene, security, more time to think about future goals, and higher rates of finding a permanent home. It was reported that the individuals who moved into the hotels were incredibly grateful and that it was a total life changer for them. Our warm accolades, King County, on your caring program. May all people have safe and comfortable homes filled with love and laughter in the grace of the Providence. Dutch team built speech cleaning robot. A startup called TechTix in the Netherlands has created a robot to help remove smaller pieces of trash from beaches. The BeachBot features cameras and a self-learning algorithm to help identify waste. Objects that are not recognized are photographed and then uploaded to an app so people can identify the items to help train the robot. The team notes that the project's goal is to raise pollution awareness so people will personally take action to keep beaches clean. Such a cool and forward-thinking idea, TechTix, to help maintain pristine beaches while encouraging people to be mindful. May we all tread lightly in the world as we respect and cherish the environment in the elevating light of heaven. Indian state announces electric vehicle subsidy to improve air quality. Chief Minister of Gujarat, the Honorable Vijay Rupani, has introduced a subsidy program to assist in the purchase of battery-operated electric two-wheelers and electric rickshaws or three-wheelers. With the goal of curbing air pollution, the plant will offer students about $160 US for each two-wheeler purchase for the first 10,000 sold and approximately $645 US for each individual or institution to buy three-wheelers for the first 5,000 sold. Gujarat, the first state in India to create a climate change department, is also working to reduce climate change effects and increase renewable energy uses. Chief Minister Rupani also expressed in the past his wish for Gujarat to become a vegetarian state. Our salute the Honorable Vijay Rupani and Gujarat government for your echo efforts. May we all walk as stewards of the earth and protect our precious planet in divine guidance. Nine-year-old New Zealand girl raises money for animal rescue charity. Anika Barron from Kerikeri, New Zealand, has raised over 1,040 US dollars for the Bay of Islands Animal Rescue by selling native trees she grew from seed. Young Anika created the business Amori Gardens for a school project during the pandemic lockdown. With the help of her grandfather, Anika collected seeds around their property and grew them into seedlings. Once ready, the trees were sold with a biodegradable tree guard and custom Customers could choose to donate the trees to dog-friendly parks if they wish. Anika has already sold close to 100 seedlings and given away 100% of the profits to the Bay of Islands Animal Rescue. We are so impressed with your thoughtful and caring initiative, Anika Baron. May heaven bless you, your family, and the gentle people of New Zealand as green endeavors flourish to benefit our vulnerable co-inhabitants and a sustainable world. Supreme Master Ching Hai joyfully presents the Shining World Compassion Award to Anika Barron, plus a 10,000 US dollars loving contribution to support this noble cause with thanks and love. 
May you be graced with heaven's light and protection always. British supermarket launches all vegan aisles. In 359 of its stores across the United Kingdom, major supermarket chain Asda now has two dedicated aisles for 100% plant-based items, one for proteins, cooking sauces and condiments, and the other for snacks and sweets. It is the first supermarket in the UK to do this. Asda also recently added more than 100 new plant-based product lines, including their own label, which includes prepared meals, pizzas, and snacks. Research from the supermarket chain revealed that their online store searches for plant-based products have increased 275% since 2019. Good news, Asda, for making it easier for people to locate yummy vegan items. May it inspire many more individuals to adopt the diet of compassion in celestial bliss. Sanctuary saves formerly captive animals in the United States. Since its inception in 1980 by founder Pat Craig, the Wild Animal Sanctuary has rescued and provided lifelong care to large animals formerly mistreated in captivity, including lions, tigers, bears, and wolves. At their 789-acre grassland haven, located in Kingsburg, Colorado, every animal is rehabilitated with expert veterinary care and then released into large habitats where they live and roam freely. In 2018, the organization acquired a 9,684-acre forested canyon in Springfield, Colorado, due to increasing rescue requests, and is now managing another 41-acre sanctuary in Boyd, Texas. All three facilities combined currently have over 120 extensive habitat areas for their more than 600 animal residents. Our earnest gratefulness to Wild Animal Sanctuary and Pat Craig for helping animal friends enjoy happy and healthy lives. In God's enduring munificence, may we treat all sentient beings with kindness and respect.